Altoids and their super altoid brethren are the best for productivity, and I'm going to give you five reasons why, and I'm going to address some of the issues that detractors bring up. Starting off with number five, it's multiple monitors. Yes, you can have multiple monitors with an altoid. For some reason, there's a mental block out there where some people think that going altoid means you have to give up your multiple monitors, but you don't. You may have to explore different multi-monitor configurations depending on the size of the altoid you get, however. Which leads us into reason number four, which is size. With traditional 16x9 monitors, you're limited mostly to 27 and 32 inch sizes, with a huge jump up to a 43 inch productivity monitor. With anything larger than that being an OLED gaming monitor that risks burning from productivity use, and has a DPI that starts becoming too low for comfortably using with text, Altoid monitors fill in those gaps with 34, 38, and 40 inch sizes, and go beyond with 45, 49, and now 57 inch option. And these can all offer resolutions with appropriate DPI at each of these sizes. Which brings us to reason number three, resolution options. With 16x9 monitors, you have three main resolutions. We have 1080p, which if you're trying to be productive nowadays, is a pretty useless resolution as you can barely fit an entire email on that resolution anymore. So we're going to focus on 1440p and 4K. 1440p looks great at 27 inches where it can run any single app fantastically, but struggles to be useful for side-to-side -side apps. At 32 inches, it starts to become unsatisfactory for text, but doesn't increase your usable workspace. 4K has enough pixels to accommodate more than one app at a time, but at 27 inches, it is almost no more useful than 1440p, as you will need to scale up the UI unless you want to work like this all day. It is great for reading due to its very high DPI, but not useful for increasing productivity. 32 inch 4K does provide a meaningful increase to the workspace available, though depending on your vision, you may not maximize the 4K resolution potential if you can't resolve the higher DPI without using scaling. Now, when we look at AltaWides, we see the 34 and 38 inch match the PPI of the 27 inch 1440p monitor, but with more usable inches of screen allowing opening up multiple apps on one screen. The 40 inch Altoid matches the DPI of the 32 inch 4K but adds 34% more pixels worth of width. Getting into the very large size monitors we have the 43 inch 4K with slightly lower DPI than the 27 inch 1440p but not by much and it allows you to leverage every single pixel of the 4K resolution. Though whether those pixels are all in the right place to make for an effective workspace is another thing. And we have the 45 and 49 inch 1440p Super Altoids which provide the same workspace as two side-by-side -side 1440p monitors while providing a more usable workspace. There is also the 57 inch Super Altoid that provides the same pixel and DPI as side-by-side -side 32 inch 4K monitors. Then there are the super high resolution 6K and 8K 16x9 monitors but they are limited to 32 inches, providing no extra usable workspace than a 4K monitor of the same size, making them unsuitable for work outside of photographers who want to see every pixel of their image on screen at the same time. Which brings us to reason number two, workspace. The way you're able to arrange your programs on your screen or screens is critical to how productive you can be. And the combination of screen size and resolution is what determines how effective that is. A classic 16x9 1440p monitor is fantastic for working on a single focused application. The higher than 1080p resolution gives you a bit more elbow room to accommodate toolbars without making your workspace feel cramped, but even with that extra resolution you still don't have enough space to run two apps side by side and getting a larger size 32 inch variant doesn't fix that as raw pixel count is what's limiting the functionality. The 21x9 1440p counterpart however does have enough space to run two office apps side by side. You will still be a bit cramped if you need to use sidebars in the apps though. If you use a creative program like Photoshop or video editors, the extra width and resolution means that a larger workspace and makes working on even 16x9 content better as you can show the whole content with minimal scaling and still have plenty of room for toolbars. And the extra room you get in timelines means less time scrolling and more time editing. If you're doing something like Photoshop or video editing, the extra width of 21x9 is not enough to do side-by-side -side apps at this resolution. The 38-inch 3840x1600 Altoid monitor makes for an even better side-by-side -side experience, making sidebar usage a non-issue. And while you do get a nice bump in usable real estate, 
I would still probably only use full screen with creative apps like Photoshop or Resolve. When stepping up to the 4K resolution at 27 inches, the lack of extra physical size really cuts the legs out from under the usefulness of the immense increase in pixels. Making a 27 inch 4K have really no more usable screen real estate than a 1440p monitor as you will need to use window scaling to make it usable if you don't want to break your neck by working like this all day. Honestly, this screen size and resolution combo should be avoided for trying to increase your productivity unless you just want a really nice reading monitor with a high DPI. Stepping up to the 32 inch size really opens up a lot of the working potential of the 4K resolution making side-by-side -side app usage as usable, if not possibly more usable, than 34-inch 21x9 Altwides. Despite having less physical width, it has more pixel width and height to play around with. So, if you have 2020 vision or an up-to-date prescription, you won't need to use any scaling at this size and can get all the benefits of that resolution. But Altwides have a 5120x2160p Altwide monitor option at a very nice 40-inch size, with the same vertical height and sharpness of a 32-inch 4K monitor, but with that extra width that makes side-by-side -side app usage extremely comfortable and can even pull off three side-by-side -side apps at the same time, though it's less comfortable to do than on one of the 49-inch monitors despite the same horizontal resolution and a higher vertical resolution. Going beyond three apps for either the 32 or the 40 inch Altwides is not reasonable for doing actual work despite their ability to have four full HD or higher resolution workspaces shown at the same time. The actual physical space these take up is quite small, making them only suitable for monitoring but not working. Stepping up in size to a 43 inch 4K monitor does allow for the full leveraging of every single pixel a 4K monitor can provide and allows for you to have four full HD workspaces of a usable size. But again, we come to the point where 1080p is becoming less useful resolution for getting work done. And if you go any larger than 1080p, you start running into issues with the size of your other windows. And most jumbo screen users end up using it with a primary floating center window for work with reference materials to the sides and behind, or just going along side by side when using two primary references. Even on my 40 inch 5120 by 2160p Altoid, I prefer working in floating windows for a lot of the apps. Now, if you're trying to pick between dual 1440p or a 5120 by 1440p Super Altoid, having all the pixels on one monitor has some big advantages. First, you can have up to three windows comfortably open in front of you at the same time and have your primary app directly in front of your seating position. Having the option for an absolutely monstrous active window with a timeline that goes on for miles is great for creatives. As for side-by-side 32-inch -side 4K monitors, the Altwide family used to not have an answer to this, but now the massive 57-inch 7680x2160p monitor exists and allows for the ultimate workspace flexibility. Whether you want to be working with two 4K screens, three Quad HD screens, with all the height of a 4K screen, a single 4K centered flanked by two full HD columns that could be used for two to four other apps, or one gigantic pixel rich screen that allows for a tremendous workspace. Almost all these configurations allow you to keep your head and neck pointed straight forward at the center image. And that leads us to the number one reason you should get an Altwide for productivity, ergonomics. If you can't work comfortably, you can't work well. But why should you listen to an Altwide loving YouTuber about ergonomics? Well, it's not because I did an afternoon's worth of research about that subject before writing an article like a lot of tech journalists do. It's because I've been a product manager for Herman Miller, managing high performance workstations for eight and a half years. And I've received and done my fair share of ergonomic training as part of a company that is synonymous with ergonomics in the workspace. And Altwides just allow you to maintain a more ergonomic working posture. Single monitor versus single monitor, they are better at maximizing your binocular range of vision for working without the need for neck movement beyond micro movements. When you compare a dual screen solution versus a super altoid, it's no competition because your core is locked into a straight on posture due to the placement of your keyboard and mouse. The altoid's ability to provide you with a centered workspace is tremendously better for your neck and allows you to use the sides for reference materials. If you're a three screen kind of worker and think that Altwides would have to be less ergonomic due to the screen configuration, I would beg to differ and suggest a stacked third screen with the Super Altwide below. 
If your seat is set up correctly, it is perfectly designed to support this setup with virtually no change to your neck posture. And while your chair can swivel to face side monitors head on, once again your hands will have to leave the keyboard and mouse to do so. So you'd be choosing between functionality and ergonomics with a standard side-by-side -side setup, where with the alt wide and the stack monitor, you would have both function and ergonomics. Now, of course, there will be workflows that require these screens to all be aligned horizontally, but if you're already committed to big neck swings to look at your reference materials, a standard alt-wide centered monitor would still maximize the functionality of your primary working space, assuming you don't have to have identical aspect ratios for all three screens for some reason. There you have it. Those are the five reasons why your next productivity monitor should be an alt-wide. And if you're a work from home gamer, you should check out my video on why an alt-wide should be your next gaming monitor. I'm Scott, and I'll see you next time, alt-wide fans.